How's it going everyone? Welcome back. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys an in-depth guide to Surfshark. And this one is going to be specifically for Mac users. So whether you just got a subscription and want to know how Surfshark works, or you want to check out what Surfshark has to offer in terms of features and settings before committing to a subscription, this video is going to give you everything you need to know in order to get Surfshark up and running. And that includes the setup process, how to use the VPN, and how to make the most out of its bonus features. And of course, if you'd like to check out Surfshark for yourself, you'll find the links to pricing and discounts, as well as a full review in the description down below. All right, so first things first, to use Surfshark, you're gonna need to get yourself a subscription. Now, if you go directly to the website and click on Get Surfshark, you'll be taken to the subscription page where you'll find three subscription tiers, Surfshark Starter, Surfshark One, and Surfshark One Plus. The starter tier will give you the VPN, an ad blocker, a cookie pop-up blocker, as well as a couple of identity generator options. And so if you wanna save the most money and you're only interested in the VPN, this tier would be more than enough. Now, as far as the Surfshark One plan goes, this one is gonna offer you everything you find in the starter tier on top of an antivirus, a safe search tool, and a bunch of identity protection tools. And so my personal recommendation would be this tier as it offers the most value, especially if you're looking for a well-rounded security kit. As for the OnePlus plan, this is basically gonna give you everything you find in the previous two tiers on top of data removal services. One thing to note here, however, is that these services are only available in the USA, CA, UK, and EU. So if you live outside of these regions, or if you're not interested in data removal services, you can go with the Surfshark One plan. Now, aside from subscription tiers, you also have to pick a subscription duration, and you can choose between the monthly plan, yearly plan, as well as two-year plan. My personal recommendation here would be to go for the one or two year plan if you're gonna use the VPN for more than a month since they come with a big discount. And you also get three free months on top of that. Besides that, if you click the link in the description down below, you'll get an additional free month on these plans, bumping them up to four free months and saving you more money long-term. At the end of the day, choose whichever plan and duration you're comfortable with and click on the Get Plan button. Here you'll be taken to the page where you need to fill in your email address as well as your billing address. So do just that and then click on Complete Purchase. All right, now that you have a Surfshark subscription, you can download either the app from the link sent to your email or you can directly download it from the page you'll be redirected to once you finalize your purchase. Then once the installer finished downloading, open the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to set up the application. They're very straightforward and should take you a couple of clicks. Okay, now that Surfshark is set up and ready to go, let me give you a tour of the app. If you hover on the left sidebar here, you'll open up a menu of all the different features Surfshark has to offer. At the very top, you have the VPN section, which is gonna be where you'll be spending most of your time using this app. In this VPN section, you're gonna have the search bar right here, where you can look up the country you're trying to connect to. And right beside it, you're gonna have the meter icon. This meter icon is gonna be the speed tester feature and it'll run a scan on all these servers to show you how fast your connection is gonna be if you're connected to that server. Though, give it a couple of seconds to finish scanning as it takes some time to go through all of the countries Surfshark has to offer, and there are a hundred countries for you to choose from. All right, so to connect to a server here, you can either click on the Quick Connect button, which would either connect you to the best performing server depending on your location, or you can manually connect to whichever country you want by searching for it and double clicking on the server. And one more thing about the Quick Connect button, if you know that you're gonna be connecting to the same country frequently, you can set this country to be your Quick Connect option instead of the one Surfshark recommends by clicking on Change in the Quick Connection section. Aside from that, you can see right next to each country there's a star icon. Pressing this would add the country to a favorite section, which would allow you to find and connect to these countries much faster. All right, so that's pretty much it for the VPN portion of the app. So let's move over to the alternative ID section of Surfshark. Now this feature is actually very recent and I believe it's still in beta, but what it does is that it creates an online identity for you, including a name, residential address, date of birth, gender, and even an actual email that you can use instead of your personal email address to avoid scams or phishing attempts. This feature comes free for all plans, by the way, and you can also purchase a $2.99 add-on that would give you an alternative phone number as well. Now, right under the alternate ID section, you're gonna have the alert, antivirus, and safe search features, which you can access by upgrading to the Surfshark One plan we talked about earlier. But to give you a brief idea of what each feature does, the antivirus is pretty self-explanatory. The alert feature scans the web for your personal information and gives you a heads up when it finds your data on people search websites or the dark web. And the safe search feature would allow you to browse the web in incognito mode, leaving no trace. And it would also block personalized ads from appearing on your feed. And finally, at the bottom of the menu, you're gonna have the settings section. And here, you don't really have to change anything since the best settings are set by default and the rest is just personal preference. Regardless, let me go over each setting to help you get a better idea of what they do. Starting with the VPN settings section, 
Most of the things here are preferential, but there are a couple of important settings I want to go over. The first is going to be the clean web feature, which is a browser extension that you can download and install on your preferred browser. So what this does is it blocks ads, trackers, and malware ridden websites as long as you're connected to the VPN. As for the second feature, this one is called the kill switch, which is arguably the most important feature to have in a VPN. And what this does is that it immediately severs your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. By doing this, the kill switch would prevent any of your data from leaking over to your ISP or anyone else on the same network trying to snoop on you. Now, right under the kill switch, you have the protocol section, and you can choose between OpenVPN, TCP, OpenVPN UDP, and WireGuard. My personal recommendation would be to set it on WireGuard, as it's the fastest performing protocol of the three, and can help you get better speeds. That said, if you're facing issues with WireGuard, you can always set it to automatic, and Surfshark will automatically choose which one is best for you depending on your network state. Okay, so at the very bottom in the advanced settings menu, you're gonna have rotating IP and no borders mode, which are a good combination to use, especially if you live in a censorship heavy country. The rotating IP option would switch up your IP address without actually changing your location to make sure you're undetectable, and the no borders mode would activate automatically when it senses restrictions on your network. And it would then connect you to the safest and closest obfuscated server to get around these network restrictions. Aside from these, everything else in the VPN settings menu is preferential and does not affect the VPN performance. For example, the app settings menu would allow you to change how Surfshark looks and what language it uses. My account section is where you can manage everything related to your account. And the get help section is where you can contact Surfshark support team who are available 24 seven. And with that, we've pretty much gone over everything you need to know about Surfshark to get it up and running. And that's gonna be the end of today's video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And again, remember to check out the description below for any promotions or discounts, as I always make sure to find the best ones for you guys so you can save as much money as possible. Besides that, if you have any other questions or comments, put them down below, as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.